In this video, it's about the PFAM, my Moog DFAM replica inside of Bitwig Studio. And this is how it sounds. It's more or less a percussion synthesizer. Um, it's also useful for kick drums and snare or very basic snare drums. Um, that's the original idea. So um, the layout is pretty straightforward. We have three sequencers, eight step sequencers for gates or velocity or the loudness of each step, the pitch and a mod sequencer I added, which is not part of the original. So this is my modification to the DM. And also we have two main oscillators and I chose to use your wavetable oscillator so you can switch between sine, tree and uh, pulse and saw. And on the original we have only pulse and dry. Uh, then we go into a mixer, we have two envelopes for the pitch and the amplifier and we can change the filter here we have envelopes here for the filter and the amplifier you can change uh, the oscillators also in vco decay which is uh, the pitch decay so you can create kick drums with this if you want to we can change the wave form here um, the tuning and also fm amount here this is more like less like a specialty of the uh, dfm that you can FM oscillator one with oscillator two. We also have noise in here, um, like a normal noise output. You can mix in the noise and you can also use the noise here to audio rate and modulate the filter frequency, which is very nice to do on the original. Um, this is how it looks like here in the original. Um, and sometimes when I do these devices inside of Bitwig, there are some comments or some questions about the patch bay on the right side. Polarity, can you please also do the patch bay inside of the grid? And in my opinion, this doesn't make any sense because the grid itself is a big patch bay. So we replicate a limited patch bay inside of a bigger patch bay um, while also, um, you know, using a lot of CPU power just for this. And it doesn't make any sense because inside of the grid you can route anything to anything, right? You don't need to limit yourself to this um, type of patch bay here on the right side. So with this patch bay, what you usually do is you switch off this pitch knob or this pitch line. So you go here to the DFAM and then you see this sequencer pitch mod knob and you switch this to the middle position um, to and or disconnect this pitch value from this oscillator. So you can't change the pitch anymore. And then you freed up more or less this knob here for a value. And then you go to the pitch output here um, of the sequencer. And then you route it to something else. So let's say it cut off, right? So you open up the cutoff on the sequence here on different points by different amounts. So I thought in this preset here, I just add a third sequencer called mod sequencer. It's also eight steps and you can dial in for each step here a different value. And then you use this modulator output here and then you can modulate any, anything inside of the, this preset. So here I used to modulate the filter decay and the EG amount. You can also use this to open up the filter rhythmically, right? With the, um, with the sequence here.
can then change the pitch here for each step and the loudness or the velocity for each step. So with the left side you more or less change the gate or when something triggers but it's actually just the velocity for each step. And yeah, this knob here, that's the one oscillator 1, 2 FM amount. That's pretty interesting because it gives you these nice type of percussion sounds um, of the DFM. I really love this knob here. It's, I mean, everyone loves FM, typical FM sound, right? And you can do this on uh, the DFM pretty well here. Um, there's also hard sync knob here to sync. Uh, VCO2 to VCO1 if you want to and here you can see uh, VCO2 and VCO1 only can use pulse and try in the original this is here the noise level um, this is the mixing knob here for VCO1 and VCO2 and here's also the VCF noise mod so you can change with the audio rate or with noise the filter cutoff here so it's a pretty interesting device. It's also fairly simple, but you get a lot of sounds out of it um, that are useful for percussions. So uh, this is the main use for this, but you can also use it, of course, as some kind of, um, let's say, techno um, sequence generator. Um, a lot of people do this. I saw this on YouTube. But yeah, you get a lot of different sounds and sequences out of this. It's really fun to play around with because it's so simple and straightforward. And if you use my subharmonicon preset with this or the labyrinth preset with this, you can probably create whole techno sets with this, I guess. I have no idea. So I try to replicate this as close as possible to the original. Um, I also own one of these DFAMs here. It's right beside my PC and I use it all the time. It's a pretty fun device to play around with. Um, and yeah, this is not like the original, right? The fun of the original is that you can touch the knobs. Um, Sound-wise, I think uh, it comes pretty close. And if you create songs with this and you bury it down in the mix and you use a lot of filters and then uh, limiters at the master and so on, probably no one can say if this is the original or the fake one, I guess, at least untrained listeners right um it doesn't matter um this preset is completely free the download link is down in the description so you don't need to pay anything um have fun with this uh hit me up with the comments with the questions or maybe some ideas for new devices or maybe some updates for this maybe you want something different here or you think something is wrong in this preset let me know Okay, I am open for feedback. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.